Hello, welcome, 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 welcome to episode number two of Jijo Speaks the Cat. And in this uh, uh, episode, th- this is going to be the first session on reading comprehension. We're going to start today. In the subsequent weeks, I'll uh, get into in depth other, other aspect of reading comprehension. But today, the thing that I want to do is to give you a thorough insight a complete understanding about what is reading comprehension, what kind of passages uh, do you encounter in uh, the cat reading comprehension. So at the end of this session, you'll go with a very clear idea in terms of what is the most important thing about cat reading comprehension. That's my plan. The session is going to be probably about 35 minutes long, maybe even 40. So you hang in there. Don't leave. Okay. Because this is going to be amazing. I'm telling you. Okay, so let me share my uh, screen and get started with Jijo Speaks Cat episode number two. And we're talking about uh, reading comprehension number one. So before I start, thank you. This is all the love that you guys uh, sh- shared with me in the comment box. All of you in the screen, really thanks. This uh, motivates me to do more and more sessions. So please let the comments come. Okay. Objective. The goal is to have a complete understanding of what it takes to nail reading comprehension. Now, I know that some of you are worried about this particular section. Some of you are thinking, oh, maybe I don't, my vocabulary is weak, how I'm going to manage reading comprehension. I don't know how difficult the cat reading comprehension passage is. I've seen some of the passages uh, uh, of, of cat. I probably have taken cat last year. It went, ah. Uh... But let's do this. So, what but the starting point is this is cat, right? So I've taken from CAT 2015 till CAT 2021. So the only difference in in this period of time was that initially it was a a 60 minutes uh, section. Now it's a 40 minute section, thanks to COVID. In 2022, what is going to happen? Nobody knows. At least uh, they know. I don't know. You don't know, at at least at this point in time. What is common is Cat had asked only these four questions. Reading comprehension, paragraph jumble, paragraph summaries, odd sentence. The Cat is a complete comprehension-based paper. There is no knowledge. Right. Now, in the, initially, we had 34 questions. So there was like two versions of it. Minor uh, sort of changes. One is that in 2015 to 17, we had three passages with six questions each and two passages with three questions each. Five passages in total. 18 and 19, that came to f- f- four passages with five questions and one passage with four questions each. When it went to the 40-minute uh, version, in 2020, there were two passages with five questions each and two passages with four questions each. But last year, it was all fours. Okay. So let's assume that one version of this is going to come in CAT 2022. Paragraph jumbles, there were uh, four, four questions uh, here. So these, these, these three put, uh, put together was 10 questions till 2019. The only difference in paragraph jumble was here was five sentences, which was uh, very painful. And the uh, cat eventually decided five sentences of paragraph jumble is too painful. Let's give four sentences. That is what we see uh, throughout. And then your paragraph summary and odd sentence. Okay. There is just one point that I would want to look at here. Okay. If I were to ask you a question, do you like this uh, this version, 60-minute paper, or do you like the 40 minutes one? One or two? What do you like? And I'm, I'm guessing intuitively, you, go, you guys are going to tell me 40 minutes. But look at this. These, let's let's take let's stick to this, this sort of pattern, right? So I think that there are five questions, which means I can probably read the passage in about four minutes and solve each question in about one minute or some combination. So each each passage is nine minutes is good enough. Assuming that you're prepared for, let's say, six months or five months, then you should be able to knock off one passage in about nine minutes. Now, if you do that, these five passages together, you we take 45 minutes. And these 10 questions, on an average, if I spend one and a half minutes, which will be good, 
maybe for example paragraph summary can be done in one minute maybe paragraph jump will take extra uh, the time whatever it is so we have 15 minutes so 15 plus 45 is 60 this paper can be completed in fact in 2017 people have finished the paper in 45 minutes also can be completed right let's say you spend eight minutes uh every single passage that's 40 minutes so you still have free time now let's apply the logic to here or here in both the cases story is still the same because you had four passages here so these are eight questions multiplied by 1.5 minutes that's 12 minutes now we have 40 minutes we have 28 minutes ladies and gentlemen for the four passages that would mean that i have to knock off this passage in seven minutes if i have to do all the four passages now the difference is what five questions to four questions that's it that's the difference or is it so let's keep this in mind seven minutes i don't know what is the story of 2022 i have no idea and i don't know i think that it could be either a situation here or a situation here we don't know but i think that this will be a more challenging situation than the situation earlier so let's think about this situation right so when you look at this uh, reading comprehension as a section the time that i'm going to take is the time to read the passage plus time to solve question number one question number two question number three question number four okay all this put together if i'm able to do in seven minutes i may not solve all the question i may skip one question each then then it's safe but sometimes you probably will take about nine minutes the nine minutes nine minutes nine minutes that is 27 minutes you probably will have to leave one passage Just keep this in mind okay we will discuss uh, on, on a later uh, episode in terms of how to knock off a passage in seven minutes okay but today we are talking about something else what we are talking is the these you for us to understand what is a key skill we need to understand reading comprehension so we'll dig from cat 2017 to 2021 completely let's go inside it and understand pura nichod ke let's understand what what is reading comprehension all about and 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 then create about four parameters what makes rc tough okay let's get started with the first part what makes reading comprehension tough ladies and gentlemen there are going to be four parameters not three these are the four things number one how much to read imagine reading 300 words imagine reading 400 words 500 words 600 words 700 words oh, this is going to take time i'm basically assuming that we have a reading speed about 200 words per minute that is if you read normal stuff maybe since if you are uh, uh, reading some critically reading things probably will need about 150 words per minute assuming that what you read is something that you know at least you're comfortable with so if it's like a, a 300 then you take two minutes if it likes the, 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 the 600 then you'll take four minutes if you take 500 three to four minutes of course assuming this particular speed and assuming uh, that you know the topic so one parameter would be how many words second is what is the topic now even if i give you very complicated passage on cricket something that most of you understand i'm sure that you can nail it but what is what what if the passage on epistemology you're like ah what is that you go to have a problem so what second is a topic third is how dense it is how dense sometimes people create complicated sentences the sentence is too long and then we get lost and then eventually what kind of questions what does a question setter want me to look at is it a broad understanding is it in-depth understanding is it about english what 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 are the questions all about so each of these four things let's learn from the past CAT 2017, 2021. Unfortunately, fifth, CAT 15, 14, 15, 16 papers are not available. So we have 2017 two slots paper, 2018 two slot paper, 2019 two slot paper, 2023 slot, 2021 three slots. We have got a lot of, lot of paper available with us. So let's start with how much to read. This is 100 words, okay? I don't know. Let me actually get my timer clock wait a minute i'm getting it hold on stopwatch okay i'm just going to read this 
and note how much time do I take to read these hundred words? Okay. China's infamous one cell policy came to an end in 2016 when family limits in the nation were raised to two children. The restriction on family sizes was introduced in the 1980s. The policy was always controversial. Back in 2016, sociology scholars Wang Fen, Byung Gu, and Yong Si Kai reported on drastic measures that had been taken to enforce the former policy, including alleged 14 million abortions, 20.7 million sterilization, and 17.8 million IUD insertion, many of which may have been involuntary. The greatest irony of this is that the policy may have been a misguided measure from the start. Okay, so this is 45 seconds. So if I so this this I took 45 seconds in the speed that I read. So which means if I if I am if I am going to put if it's a 200 uh, uh, words passage, then probably I'll take about uh, 90 seconds, one and a half minutes. So if it is uh, 400 word passages, I'll probably uh, about three minutes. If 500 word passage, probably about three minutes, 45 seconds. That's it. At this pace, provided I understand. This is taken from JSTOR daily. It's something that we understand. So I okay. So I don't have to read fast or anything. I just have to read at the pace I can understand. So I think this is the speed. I'm sure that you can read faster than this. Don't worry about reading speed, therefore, because this is a story of word length of CAT 2017 to CAT 2021. I have put them in descending order. CAT 2017, remember, there were uh, three questions with six, uh, so three passage with uh, six questions, two passage with three questions. This one is slot one. So what you see here is slot one. And this one is slot two. Look at this. 544 words. That's a maximum to 520 words. And the short passages were about 300 words. 540-ish, 300, 260 words. 260 words, three questions. 500 words, six questions. Okay. Cat 2018 and 2019, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4. 528 to 504 words, 524 to 450 words. 20, 521 to 503, 510, everything is about 500 words. Look at CAT 2020, 500, 504, 495, 493 for slot 1, 507, 502, 491, 490 for slot 2, 517 to 500 for slot 3. CAT 2021, 519 to 490, so slightly high, 541. Uh, 519, 496, 530, 526, about 520, 500 words on an average. I think it's about 500 word passage. You look at the history of the CAD from 2017, even in the old version, this version. So one thing that is certain, ladies and gentlemen, in CAD 2022, this, this is what we'll get. There is no reason, at least from the data that I can see, that is going to be anything different from this. So we don't have to worry about word length. With that speed, I think that's 500 word passages. We can uh, read in about three and a half minutes. Or maximum four minutes. Most of you will be able to knock it off in three minutes as well. Right? You can. Provided. Provided. I'm comfortable with the subject. Now, this one, what we just read, we are very comfortable. I think that as soon as you uh, left this particular passage, you know that this was a main point of it. The greatest policy may have been a misguided measure from the start. The author is, you can also think about what author is sort of little uh, critical about the policy. Author is talking about all the negative things that has happened, talking about a policy that came to an end. I think this was an easy passage to understand. So no, no problem. So, which means, what are the kind of topics that they ask? Will it be difficult for me to understand? And we always think that it's about English. It's about vocabulary. It is not about vocabulary. Yes, vocabulary is important. But it's more about the topic. Let's see. Now, to start with, I'm going to basically use this broad term. Humanities, social sciences, natural sciences. And I'm also going to put management. Though management can be clubbed into one of these things. Humanity, life, history, philosophy, literature, languages, religious studies, all this sort of topic. Anthropology, economics. To make a life sort of simple. right? And natural sciences and management. What kind of topics do we see in the CAT? 
Are you ready? Are you ready? What do you take a guess? I think that today you may be guessing maybe management. Cat wants maybe economics. Cat cat is what the management is MBA is a management institute. They should check management. But look at this. H, H is for humanities. S is for humanities, social sciences. N is for natural sciences. And M is for management. Okay. CAT 2070 slot one. Two on humanities, one on social science, two on natural science. Now, these humanities can be any on these topics. Okay. Humanities, social science, three natural sciences. CAT 2018, three social sciences, two natural sciences. 2018 slot two humanities natural sciences three management. I think I think this was I'm putting as management topic, but it can it, it is probably very close to social sciences in terms of how this topic was. It was talking about behavior, the psychology of employees and stuff like that. Okay, so it's probably close to social sciences. 2019 couple of humanities, couple of social sciences, one natural sciences. Couple of humanities, couple of social sciences, one natural sciences. 2020 humanities, humanities, social sciences, natural sciences. Slot one. Humanities, humanities, social science, social sciences. Three social sciences, one natural sciences. Humanity, social and social, natural science. Humanities, it is humanities, social sciences, and natural sciences. Now imagine now you are uncomfortable with reading social science passages. Let's go back and look at the topic. Social thought, writing culture, social and culture theory, statistic, microeconomic, macroeconomic methods, comparative politics, political theory, conflict and power, personality theory, cognitive psychology, psychology ethics, and sociology. You are not comfortable. Now you look at CAT. Assuming that you took the CAT slot number two last year, what will happen? And the problem is not English. Problem, I just don't understand. Imagine you are weak in, let's say, literature, Renaissance literature. Maybe let's like epistemology. Metaphysics. Epistemology. First time in my life, I don't know what the hell that is. I have not read this before. I'm uncomfortable. What's going to happen? How many of these topics? If I probably give you a uh, the, the passage on, let's assume that I end up giving you a passage. Cat gives a passage, one passage on political theory. Let's say second passage on cognitive psychology. Third passage on Renaissance literature. Fourth passage is on, let's say, biological sciences. I don't know how many of you are going to go. All four passages bounce. Okay. All right. Let's look at the source. Where have they put uh, pick the passage from? Okay. Okay. We have starting from 2017, going all the way till 2021. Three things. Let's start from here. One is article. Okay. Article could be, for example, a Time magazine or a New York Times, a Guardian, Hindu. All these are articles. I'm just counting as article. When I say it could be an opinion article, it, it could be a whatever, essay type article, it could be anything. Okay. But when you, when you look at an article, when someone writes an article, that article is usually written for arm janda, public. So you have, imagine a uh, 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 newspaper like Guardian, or let's say even let's take Hindu also. Okay. That Hindu newspaper is for public. So usually, so even though in Hindu newspaper they write, sort of heavy duty English. But at the core of it, this is written to an audience, which is general public. Now, if you look at journal, for example, the story is very different. In journal, the whoever is writing the journal is assuming that the person who is coming and reading his journal knows at least some stuff. Imagine, ladies and gentlemen, an entry on political theory from a journal and from an article, this should, the treatment would be very different. The treatment would be very different. And then you have the next one, which is book. Now, book is sort of slightly weird. There can be a book for general public. For example, if you look at this book here on writing, this is a book written by Stephen King. General book for everyone. But look at this book, Encyclopedia of Human Geography. Topography. 
that is what that passage was topical there was once again this encyclopedia of human geography is repeated again cat 2020 one another one feminist geography i don't know what this what this one i don't remember what this was anyways this is different so book is sort of this can even even to some extent we can look at an article probably in article i want to say will be probably different from an article from bbc but but book is different another thing about book and article is that when you look at an article article is let's say is taken from a 3000 word article let's say an i want to say article a 500 word passage is extracted that is almost 20 percentage of content and then they do the edit and stuff so it's a substantial content i get the complete uh, idea about what the author wants to say but if a book is let's say 300 pages probably one page is given to us so i may not get the complete context okay let's put this put this in perspective okay let's start with 2020 immediately you can see that i have color coded all the article is green see the difference see what has happened in 2020 and 2021 what cat did 2017 we had all articles, Time Magazine, BBC, couple from New York Times, Ionesis, Slot 1, Ionesis, New York Times, Smithsonian, couple from Guardian. 2018, New York Times, Scientific American, the only one time Hindu was here. And then I think they went to, from India, Hindu, they went to Nepal here. I don't know why. <laughs> 2021. So if we'll, we'll, come, we'll come to 2021. It's like bonkers. Ionesis, New York Times. A couple of Ionesis, Economist, uh, Smithsonian, Forbes. So you can see the repetition. Smithsonian is here. And uh, you've got Ionesis. Uh, so then you've got quite a lot of stuff from New York Times. Uh, so you've got Ionesis here. And then you have got uh, Guardian. So you got usual suspect. Something changed in 2019. So there were books. This was one was picked from a book. Another was picked from the book. This is Institution of India. This is about imperialism. I don't know how many of you have seen this passage. Whoa. Was, was toughest passage. Book. Rest everything was common. But look at 2020 and look at 2021. 20 Atlantic book, book, and one journals. We start seeing journals. Two journals in slot number two. Slot number three, two books. First of all, they give you four passages. At least you have five passages. On top of it, they are giving journals. Couple of books. 2021. Book. Couple of books in second number slot. One journal. And then you have got from Smithsonian, Financial Times, Ionesis. Book. So, now look at Cat. What is Cat giving you? Cat is picking one topic. Let's say social and cultural theory. Cat may pick it from some book, some article, something from analysis. And Cat gives four or five hundred words. Take it, enjoy, read. And we will look at it and go. Ooh. Okay. How dense. How dense. Now there is a, okay, there is there is a lot of different scales that is used to calculate how dense a passage is or, or, or an essay is or a text is. I am going to use this this grade level, flesh can get grade level, which uses this formula. 0.39 multiplied by total words divided by total sentences. If there are more number of words in a sentence, so if the sentence is long, it's going to be dense, right? complex sentence construction. If the words you have got more number of syllables, then that's a long word. Though it is not necessary that every long syllab syllabus word is tough, but in, in general, if you want to take a measure, the harder words have longer syllabus. Uh, syllables, sorry, not syllabus, syllables. And they put a grade. It grade all the way starts from zero, goes to 20 and keeps on moving. The so basically, if you have average basic, this twinkle, twinkle little star will be like number two or three. And then you have this 8, eight 10 is average. And 14 to 16 is like a skill grade level. 16, 18, 20 will be very tough. It is not necessary, ladies and gentlemen. Just because something is tough, it will be difficult for me to read. No. That's not the point. 
I can give a very very uh, dense passage on let's say cricket. You will read it because you understand the subject. If you understand the subject that is that is given to you, these these things. If you understand the subject, then how much of a dense it is, you can still navigate. But if you don't understand the subject, and on top of it it is dense, yeah, oh, harakiri, finished, over. So let's look at the grade. So let's put this grade. Okay. So this is the grade. Okay. Anything above fourteen would be sort of skilled. I have color coded. This is CAT twenty seventeen. This is still uh, this is slot one, uh, first five, and this uh, CAT twenty twenty. This is so slot one. Then you have slot two and slot three. CAT twenty seventeen. One was sixteen point nine. Rest everything is nice and green. Slot number two, nice. So CAT twenty seventeen. Let's look at slot number two for example. All were articles. Okay, articles. So we have got natural sciences, three of them. So social science, humanities, but at least article, which is not very dense. Nice. Yeah, twenty eighteen, we started seeing red, fifteen point red pair. No question setter checks this while creating the paper. Okay, so it's sort of it's not being checked. So this is. Uh, I don't think the question setter looks at a particular grade passages to be given. It is just that they're picking sources. Which instantly have those passages which are dense. So you've got fifteen point eight, fifteen point four, and fourteen point nine, and mostly manageable. CAT twenty nineteen, we have sixteen point five, fourteen point seven, fourteen point five, and the second slot is slightly sort of less than dense. Look at twenty twenty. Look at this twenty twenty. Look at twenty twenty one. How many deep reds? It has gone twenty point eight. I don't know who was in last year. I don't know who took slot number two last year. Seventeen point one grade, fourteen point five, fourteen point two, ten point nine on topics. What are the topics from TED Talk? At least this was okay. Two books. On what kind of subject was it? Cup three on social sciences. If you don't understand social sciences, if you're not comfortable with some of these passive type of topic that is thrown at you. And then on top of it, somebody has given you this dense. This is better. It's over only. Finished. Am I scaring you? I'm telling the truth. But I don't know whether I'm scaring you. There's nothing to scare. You need to understand what cat is. Questions. So there are broadly three cat of question. No, one is the sort of the main idea. Primary purpose, tone, won. So I'm just going to call it global questions, and then there could be a fact-based questions. I'm just going to call it local, detailed question, and all the inferences and other things. Author agree, author will disagree, agree, disagree, and blah 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 things like those. So let's say I'm going to call it local interpretation question. This is a story. Cat twenty seventeen. Cat twenty seventeen. Such a nice, such a nice paper. Lot of detailed question, very few interpretation questions. Inference was very few. So twenty seventeen gave me passage all greens on articles for arm arm public. Where is it? With a lot of non painful questions. So you start looking at twenty seven past seventeen passages. You start realizing this was nice. Nice, but 2018 onwards, we have started looking at these interpretation questions. Is look at 2019, 2020, 2021. A huge percentage of the paper is about interpretation, so asking inferences. What will author agree disagree? Specific function questions. So these are not testing English, critical reasoning, critical thinking. These are testing logic on a topic of natural sciences, social sciences, humanities. Wait a minute. What is CAT? Is it English? What What is English here? English would be what is the figure of speech? Okay, that's like literature. But this is not that. You are picking passages from God knows where on subjects God knows what on uh, 
on 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 the density level god knows how much and then you are asking me questions which are interpretation based questions let me take an example that cat is not english this is a 2007 passage old one okay let me read this let me just read. this is a passage which has got more number of sort of uh, paragraph i'll just pick the first paragraph because this question only needs this first paragraph every civilized society lives and thrives on a silent but profound agreement as to what is to be accepted as a valid mold of experience civilization is a complex system of dams dikes and canals warding off directing and articulating the influx of surrounding fluid element a fertile fenland elaborately drained and protected from the high tides of chaotic unexercised and inarticulate experience in such a culture stable and sure of itself within the frontiers of naturalized experience the arts build their creative power not so much in width as in depth they do not create new experience but deepen and purify the old their works do not differ from one another like a new horizon from a new horizon but like a madonna from a madonna what the what what is, what is... thankfully it is 2007 2006 2007 2008 it was bonkers at least this was not as bad now but this is what is given and question is in the in the passage the expression like a madonna from a madonna alludes to what and look at the four five answer choices and what is english here i need to understand this passage where is english i need to understand the subject it's talking about that every civilized society lives on an agreement as to what is to be accepted as valid mold of experience which means every civilized society is agreed the what is valid we cannot go around and be naked not allowed not valid so every civilized society like that so then he says this particular sentence from here saying civilization is complex civilization complex system of dams dike article but it's similar complex here civilized society every civilized society has some sort of an agreement and that civilized society is complex in such a culture which is stable and sure of itself within the frontiers of natural experience god knows what that means the culture is stable culture is sure the arts now the art the arts wields their creative power not so much in width as in depth the creative art the creative power of art does not come in width but actually comes in depth okay the second next sentence helps everything they do not create new experience but deepen and purify the old they are not creating anything new but they are going back and purifying it like let's say remake so in a uh, such a culture the art deepen and purify the old the old is getting purified let's say version 1 and from there a version 2 is created that's what happens their works do not differ from one another like a new horizon from a new horizon it is not from horizon to horizon but like a madonna from a madonna from a madonna of version 1 a madonna of version 2 is getting created now who 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 is madonna like a virgin no 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 not that madonna this madonna mother mary so in, in the renaissance spirit they went and created sort of the old sort of ways of drawing they completely changed it no so all that is saying from a old version of madonna a new version of madonna was created so like a madonna from a madonna is a difference between two artistic interpretation an old version of madonna to a new version of madonna that's the answer i'm not explaining 1 3 and 5 i'm just saying the point that i'm saying this is cat 2017 was stuff okay what i'm essentially saying is that point here is the key skill key skill is to understand the cat is not english 
CAT VRC is a test of humanity, social sciences, and natural sciences. Now, if I don't understand social sciences, or I'm not comfortable with reading such passages, it's done. Even if, let's say, that, then that is the reason as to why we end up spending extra minute, extra minute. Now, I can still figure out stuff because every single passage will have logical structures. I can use logic to beat this. If I don't know a topic, but I can use logic. I can look at what the author is trying to say. Okay, author is say, stating somebody's view. Author is saying that view is wrong. And author is subsequently creating, uh, uh, adding more view. But I, as an individual, if you have to ace BR the section of the CAD, needs to be comfortable with diverse topics, needs to be comfortable with dense material. And there is no escaping here. And this has got nothing to do with vocabulary. Cat is this. So to nail the cat, be comfortable with diverse topics and just focus on comprehension. Speed is irrelevant. Why have we bothered about speed? The passage is only 500 words. If I understand the topic, I'll be able to read it fast. If I don't understand the topic, what, what, what will happen if I read it fast? So one very, very important thing is that I have to create a diverse uh, uh, sort of reading habit. I would recommend these two things. One is JSTOR daily. Now, JSTOR itself is journal storage. Right? JSTOR daily is sort of a, an article, a lot of articles. Nice short article you'll get. Second is Ionesis. Now, Ionesis has got article which is about 3,000 words. 3,000, 3,500 words. These two are recommended. So you've got all these uh, all these, all these texts. But the thing is that I would probably not recommend that you should pick something up. For example, if I look at Guardian, Guardian is fundamentally a newspaper. Now, for you to find out, let's say, a social science passage there, it's going to be slightly painful. Or for that matter, Atlantic. And some of them, you have to pay money. For example, something like uh, New York Times, it is not free. You have to pay money. So, and I'm, I'm sure that you have no point picking up journals and studying. It's not like if I go to a journal, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to look at this. So, I would want to look at some sources which will have, let's say, topics like these uh, and which has got a density, which is what the cat sees. So, these two would be a must according to me, weekly. So, this is something you must do. You, you have a habit of just read. And when you start reading, what is going to be slightly uh, 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 painful is that you, you, you're starting reading something you may not understand. But that is okay. So I think at the starting point, it's okay. You have, you've got good five months, six months with you. That's enough. Just read stuff every day. This is not enough. But I think this is where you start. You obviously will have to practice RC and we can still nail the RC, right? And then the reading, reading comprehension does have options that is given to us. There's a question setter. So there are a lot many things that we can do without having deep understanding any of the subject. But I just need to have a level of comfortness with the subjects that is there. In there that's there. So just keep reading. Let's say you come across a particular topic and a topic talks about uh, feminist movements right? and uses some probably some word, whatever. Or let's say topics, it's about uh, renaissance and it's talking about humanism. And you know what the hell is humanism. So let's do one Google and just learn it. Every topic is linked. It generally is helpful to you. So these two things, something that you read. So the, act, the must do activity, I think this is a bare minimum. And top of it, you can do something else. Let's, let's say if I count 12 weeks. Next 12 weeks, right? You have got, uh, the, the, there are CAT 2020, uh, two, two uh, papers, 2020, uh, uh, sorry, CAT 2017, two papers, CAT 2018, two papers. You have got 12 papers available. Every week, you hit one paper and you have to learn from it. It's not about solving. It's about learning. You have to, you have to teach yourself. And for that, you solve a question, understand the passage, read it once again, and then and then and then look at the look at the question, look at how the options are created, get get into it, dive dive deep into the paper, try to teach yourself. 
another activity you must read articles on a weekly basis daily keep reading but you keep reading this it will definitely help you a lot and then please continue to watch my episodes right. and we will talk about in the in the subsequent lessons subsequent session how to deal with some of these tough passages how to navigate these passages that lady gentleman is uh, is 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 this uh, the less of course the addition of this you can do lot many things but this is a this is a must 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 and obviously you need a guide so i am here every week friday i'll come i'll talk about rc i'll talk about va at 10 pm be with me till then so i'll give some direction in terms of how to deal with this va uh, br section of the cat all right all good <laughs> i hope that you're not psyched out but at least now we know what cat is bye